So guys, this protection lasts throughout the following day, even after a shower. So let's get into this. Yeah, I've been out 31 degree heat with this deodorant. I shake well, I spray, and then it gives me. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Now, if you are a sweaty girl like me, you're in for a treat. Now, I have done a review about the Perspirix deodorant and um, I didn't get along with that too well. I mean, it worked effectively, it worked, guys. But um, I was just very sore under my armpits and I was like, there's got to be something else. And one day I was in Plymouth and I went to Tesco and I needed a deodorant, I just needed a spray one because going to the beach is handy to have a spray one and I didn't think to bring one with me. So I ended up getting this and it caught my eye because it was on offer, it was on club card offer for £3.50. This is the short maximum protection, three times stronger sweat protection, 96 hours. This is in the clean scent, I, I bloody love this scent, it's a really good smelling deodorant and it lingers for a very long time. Um, and I found this to work really, really well. So that, in turn, I was like, well, do they do a cream form? I wish they did, da da da, da. And it happens to be, I went to Boots last week and um, tried to find a, like a roll-on cream version of it and here we are today. This is the three times stronger, but this is the sports strength because I go to the gym quite often early in the morning so I want something to last me throughout my whole day um, and yeah so if you want to see how these this deodorant stands the test of time please keep watching and you'll see my little review throughout my day so every single day that I apply it I do a little review um, so yeah I hope you enjoy so I'm going to Cornwall tomorrow so I bought this deodorant it's a spray and it's Maximum protection, three times stronger sweat protection by sure. So I'm gonna test it out. So it's currently ten past nine and I wore this for a couple of days. I've been wearing this for a couple of days now. Solid, absolutely solid. I've been to two different beaches today and I don't smell and I didn't sweat. It's really good stuff. So I laid it, layered it on top of my normal Mitchum. No irritation or anything. And I'm still smelling fresh. I'm all right. So I'm currently editing the video right now. Um, please like and subscribe if you want to see more honest reviews from me. So I'm going to work today. I'm walking to work, obviously, that's me. Um, but yesterday I went to Longworth Cove and then I drove home to work. Um, and I had this deodorant on and I was still smelling fresh at the end of the day. I was absolutely fine. Obviously my whole body was like in sweat, but I was absolutely fine under my armpit. But today I've just put it on again because I'm going to work and lunch today. But I've just seen some like crystals under there, like like powdered crystals. Like oh, that sounds really bad. Um, it's like little, you know, sometimes deodorant just like leaves like this powdery residue. Like that's what it's like, and I don't know where that's come from. Because anyway, that's the first time I experienced that with this. I can't. I'm not going to show you because yeah. I am back from work. As you can see, I'm sweating. I am sweating so much, but my armpits are dry. My armpits are dry. I didn't go out for lunch. I went out, but I sat out. Um, I went out and had a meal deal. That's what I had. Um, it wasn't proper lunch. Um, so that's what I did today. Um, on my break, sat out in 28 degree heat and I was boiling. My back was sweating. My back is wet right over my chest as well. It's literally, yeah it's, it's just not ideal um but yeah i've been out 31 degree heat with this deodorant and it's been fun this one hurts me that is my report on this deodorant from the english weather we have 24 degrees today but i feel like it's going to be very very humid 
So, we'll pop more of this. I think you can probably see now. That, can you see that? That's the problem I'm having with it. So, I shake well, I spray, and then it gives me this white powdery residue on my armpit. They, I didn't see that they did like a black and white clothing one, you know, when it's suitable for that and it doesn't leave any white marks. They didn't have any of that, so I'm not too sure. I thought I wore black top yesterday and it was fine. I feel like you just have to apply it like an hour before or like the night before so it can just sink in and so you don't have any of that. So today's plan of action is I am going to work and then maybe going out for lunch today and yeah but 24 degree heat we can deal with that it's just gonna be very very muggy oh. i am back from work oh look you can really see my tan now can't you <laughs> um, i'm back from work uh we actually went out for lunch today we went to this italian restaurant that's just opened up and um it was really nice well my sister had it in her head that she wanted to go co-op to get a meal deal i was like no i'm sick and tired of meal deals since i had one yesterday and just like they're just not the vibe i i try and not get a meal deal it's just not my thing and i wish i packed my own lunch until someone says or someone cancels on me so anyway so let's have a check of the deodorant oh Oh, my sister got a first in her degree, so that's why we were celebrating. Oh, what a great time to be alive. Um, so basically, in the crevice of my armpit, so where your arm folds, that's where I'm sweating. It's not, I'm dry in my armpit area. It's just so muggy today, guys. It's incredibly muggy, like, it, ugh. Right, I'm dressed, I'm ready to go to work. I'll report back later i really need to cool off my back is literally in sweats but um my armpits are dry my armpits are dry well there we go there guys i haven't tested it out in the gym yet so we don't know but i tested out on the beach come on i was swimming with it on <laughs> okay so i'm going gym today and i'll see you guys later i have applied this as well so i'm going now So it's currently half six in the morning. We're just getting ready to go and pick up my sister's stuff from uni. So we're packing today and I do want to go to the beach and I do want to do a little bit of food shopping. So there's tons of things to do today. So hopefully this holds up as it has been. So don't prove me wrong. I can tell you now, yesterday I was still smelling fresh. We went to Lulworth Cove, we went to the stair hole, we did a little bit of walking around, seeing the sights, we sat down in the sun for a little bit, it was lovely. And we were packing away my sister's uni stuff as well. And by the end of it, I was still smelling fresh. I forgot to check in yesterday. I was lying in bed and I was like, something I'm forgetting to do. Anyway, so, this today is Sunday and we're going back up again. Today we're going to go and have fish and chips because we didn't get to yesterday. Because we were going to, we thought we could pack everything up in the car in one go. But if that didn't work out, so we're going back up today. To pack up the rest of the stuff. And then, yeah. I should really do my research about this deodorant, whether it comes in um, no white marks. Yeah. Um, and also, if it comes into roll-on, because I prefer roll-ons over a spray by the mile, because spray isn't good for the environment. I think I'm going to get that one. In this family was the deodorant the cream form of the sure maximum protection three times stronger 
Um, this is the sport one. There was either the sport or the clean scent left available in the cream deodorant. I've used the cream deodorant before by Mitchum and I didn't like it that much. Um, so I'm hoping this will be good. This is the sport version because obviously I go gym and stuff. So I thought it would just be a bit more effective. So yeah, and the other bits I got from Boots are Nivea and Vitamin C. Um, right, I'm smelling okay to be fair, I'm smelling okay. And um, as far as I'm concerned, I'm not that sweaty and today it was quite muggy. Today it was quite muggy, it was really windy at the beach, but it was like, it wasn't cold, it was quite like warm. Okay, so let's test out this deodorant. I've had a bath, washed everything. So, it says how to use. For first use, turn the wheel until product is dispensed afterwards. Use two clicks for recommended dosage. Apply the product directly to dry underarms. Replace cap after use. Um, so it says, nighttime application produces optimal results as sure maximum protection is best activated by your body's resting temperature. This protection lasts throughout the following day, even after a shower. So let's get into this. My friend and I have booked another holiday for the end of August. So if this works out, then um, I'm gonna be very happy. Because then I can use this in Spain. There we go. Oh, look, it's coming up. You see that? That's a product there. Right, okay, there you go. That's probably come out now. Uh, I don't like the canal, that's really scary. It's, it has a different scent to this one. This one smells like really clean. This one smells fresh and clean. Okay, so deodorant has been applied to the armpits. Going to replace the cap. Then check back in in the morning, see if I smell. You know how this was hurting me so much? This, because it's like a cream formula. It's not like stripping, it's not like irritating any of the skin that's around the armpit area. Whereas this, this felt like straight up rubbing alcohol. Goodness me, this felt like putting salt to a wound. It is the morning now, I am just getting ready to go to work. My armpits don't smell of anything. I feel like the perfume is now gone. And um, I'm not going to be applying the spray on top. I'm just going to see how this wears throughout the day. And it is kind of feeling hot in my room right now if we just check the weather it's currently nine past eight and the weather for today is saying 23 degrees we're walking like a steam train i'm on a mission today but i'm feeling all right it's quite hot though i'm telling you now it is hot i'm feeling okay i feel like you can see the sweat coming through this top if there was any to but yeah it's quite hot i'm sweating so badly i'm in a shop I'm just walking the dog, but so far, so good. I'm still at work, it's currently lunchtime, and um, I don't think I smell funky or anything. This blue is my colour, for sure. It's, it's like electrifying, it's beautiful, it's so nice. Especially on my tan, it's wonderful. It's, <laughs> it's such a nice colour, I'm in love. So guys, I don't think I smell of anything. I, I I feel like you can't smell this, so I can't smell this scent on my armpit whatsoever. Um, but I did not sweat. I sweat. I sweated where? 
I would normally sweat. So on my chest, on my back, in the crevices of my armpits, but not like on my armpits, you know where generally you'd get a huge sweat patch here. I just get them where your arms fold. So that's that. Um, overall it worked out today, so it was quite muggy. And um, I did a dog walk as well, so yeah. Right, so I've gotten out my um, work clothes, I mean my house clothes now, and um, I've just had dinner. But upon closer inspection of smelling my armpit, <laughs> as you do, I smell like fenugreek. So I've been taking fenugreek for the past, I want to say, year. And um, more recently, in these last couple of months, I've switched to a different fenugreek pill, and um, it's it's strong. And um, that's what I can smell. I can smell the fenugreek. I can't smell this. But um, I could smell this one, the spray. The spray is a bit more potent. So if you like smelling good, or smelling like what the product that you bought, then I suggest you get the spray. But if you're more like eco-friendly, then the cream. Okay, so I am off to the gym. We'll see how the deodorant wears off again. Um, and I don't think there's any white marks. It's not giving. Um, so that's a good thing. I'm back. I have sweated one out. My nose is running. <laughs> today was another arm day. Instead of pull, today was push. <laughs> um, I am very sweaty and I also did cardio. We are dry. We are dry. We are fine. Everywhere else is a bit. Yeah. I'm just going out for lunch. It is so sunny. Hence why I've got my bucket hat on so I don't burn. Oh my gosh, I am sweating absolute buckets right now. Like, absolute buckets. I'm fully sweating so much my chest is all like clammy and wet um i went to boots saw that these guys were still on offer the um sports strength ones so i was like gonna have to stock up they only had two left so i picked those up um no they had like they didn't have two left they're like four left but yeah i left behind two with other people i think can't remember this was five pound though so i was like that's a bit much for an aerosol so i'll give that this um got some more eye brow gel yeah just some other bits as well but i'm sweating so much i've got my travel money my euros <sighs> just like loads of bits to do today right so although i've only been using the cream deodorant for a week i think that it's worked so so well and i didn't have to improve with use do you know what i mean and um it's kind of like buying a foundation like you would know straight away if you like it or not and the way that it just prevented my sweat from day one i mean that that's like a hole in one for me that's like a 10 out of 10 that's great that's amazing and it's continued to do so so i'm not gonna drag this review on for much longer and do like two weeks of like me trying it out because i feel like it's gonna work me a great deal and um hopefully throughout the whole summer i will be going away at the end of the month to spain so hopefully <laughs> i can use that over there too so yeah that'd be great so just a little update i've been using the product for about just over three weeks now and this is how much i've used so i feel like it should last you just a bit more than a month um Oh, deodorants normally last me like two months, like Mitchum. This is on its last legs, but honestly, this lasts me such a long time. But you get more product in this. This is 100 mils, whereas the short is only 45 mils, and it's a cream product rather than more liquid product like the Mitchum. So, yeah, but I've been using it for just over three uh, weeks now and it's working fabulous. I really like the spray as well. Um, I have yet to try any other flavours, no not flavours, what is it called? <laughs> Scents of this or um, 
like types because this is the sports strength. Okay, so I've just been gym and I'm at work right now. I've walked to the gym, I've walked back. And um, so, I don't know if you can see, but I'm still sweating around the armpit area. It's just not in the armpit region. But also, look, that's not my armpit, that's me. Um, so yeah, so this sure. So it's been about three weeks since I uh, bought this product to test out. And um, yeah, so I'm experiencing the same things with Perspirex as in perspiration right wise, like it, the product works for my armpits, but I'm sweating a lot elsewhere. Um, so yeah, still experiencing this. <laughs> but to be fair, my backpack straps are padded, so um, that doesn't help with the humidity and I'm gonna turn on the fan now. So I guess from those clips, you'll see that I really, really, really like this deodorant and it's worked a dream. The spray has worked for me and the cream has worked for me as well. I recommend it in its comfort. I recommend it in its strength. I recommend that it just it just works. I mean, the scent on the aerosol lasts much longer than it does with the cream form that I have found. Bear in mind, I do take fenugreek every single day, so that does um, change the way that I smell and everything like that. So yeah, but overall, such a positive review for this product. I paid for it with my own money. Um, of course I did and um, all of my thoughts on my own and personally it has worked for me so yeah I hope you guys enjoyed that little review and I'll see you guys in the next video